Hi there. In today's video, we're going to consider how we can mirror Azure Cosmos DB in Microsoft Fabric Warehouse. Let's get started. In the previous video, I covered how we can mirror Snowflake. I'm going to put the link of the videos in the description below so I can watch how we can navigate mirroring this environment. Let's see how we can mirror the Cosmos DB in the Microsoft Fabric. I'm going to come to the portal.azure.com and of course I've got this Azure Cosmos DB account. In the account, I'm going to come to the Data Explorer and in the Data Explorer, I've created what is called a database called Demo DB. And of course, in the database, I've got this new container, which is in form of a table. I can click on that and I can click on this new SQL query and then I can query the employee records. Just click on Execute Query. And this is going to give me the output of the query. So you can see we have records in form of key value pairs. So we want to mirror this data set in our Microsoft Fabric. I'm going to come to the app.powerbi.com. And of course, I've got a workspace that is quite empty. It is named Mirror as a Cosmos DB. At the bottom, I'm going to click on this icon. And then I want to switch to the data warehouse experience. Now, in the data warehouse experience, I'm going to click on Mirror Azure Cosmos DB, and then we need to choose the new connection. In order for this to work, I'm going to show you quickly some few stuff you need to take note. I'm going to come to settings. Now, in the settings, we need to ensure that some things are set right first. I'm going to come to networking. Now, make sure your public access allows all network in order for this to work. And then I'm going to come to the point in time restore. Now, in the restore, I'm going to come to the backup policy. Now, make sure your backup policy is set to continuous 30 days or 7 days. And then once this is set, and then click on see this is really required for this mirroring to work. After that is sorted, I'm going to come to the fabric portal, and then I can click on new connection. Now, we need to give the URL for our Cosmos DB endpoint. So I'm going to come to the portal and I'm going to scroll up and go to the overview. Now in the overview under the essential, I can see the URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Now it's going to be listening at port 443. And this is the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste here. So as soon as that is pasted, I can give, let me just go back and I can change that. Now I can give a meaningful name. Let's just call it uh, mirror my data and then for the authentication kind it's going to be account key and for the account key again i'm going to come back to my azure cosmos db account and i'm going to scroll down now i want to go to one of the settings go to the keys click on the keys and then we can see the url and of course we can really see the read write keys so we have the primary and the secondary key i'm going to copy the primary key and then go back to my new connection and control V to paste. And that's all we need to do for now. Click next. And then we're going to see the connection settings where we can specify the name of our database. Now, don't forget, I'm going to go up quickly and show you the database we want to connect to. I'm going to come to the data explorer. And in data explorer, I can see the name of my database is demo DB. So I'm going to go back and just wait for this to load. So that is loaded. Click on this chevron and then you can see the demo DB. Amazing. And then I can click on connect. And then we're going to be able to choose the data that we want to mirror. Of course, we can automatically mirror future data or tables that is coming into the database that we just mirrored. Okay, so for the choose data, this is the name of my container, which is the same thing as what we have in employee records, which is brilliant. And then click on connect. And I'm going to see the destination. So for the destination, I can just give a meaningful name. Let's just call it demo DB employee records. And then click on create mirrored database. Mirrored Cosmos DB is starting. And then I'm just going to wait so that I can click on the monitor replication. Click on that. And then we can see that it's actually running. The status is running. And then we can see the source. And we can see the source database and the destination is going to be in our own link. So unfortunately, I'm not going to see any number of um, the name of the table, the status, the rows replicated, last completed. But I know this is actually working. So I'm just going to wait for maybe um, one minute or less. And then I'm going to cancel or close this tab. 
So it's been mirrored anyway. So at the top right hand corner, I can click on this mirrored Cosmos DB and I want to switch to the SQL analytics endpoints. Click on that. There we go. So we have the data and we can go ahead and query the data set, which is quite brilliant. So we can see the tables, demo, DB, employee records. And of course, we can see all our columns. So we can see the original column like the ID, the last name, the first name, the gender, date of hire, and so on and so forth. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with friends, comment, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.